kitties! Welcome back to my channel! Today's video is going to be cute date ideas. So, for you boys and girls out there, if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or you're planning to go on a date with a boy or girl, I'm here to advise you on some awesome locations and things to do whilst on a date. The first one is Winter Wonderland, which is where I met my lovely boyfriend Brandon. It was really awesome. That was our first date. We held hands on the roller coaster and yeah. I was actually at the vegan section in the Winter Wonderland, so yeah, it's really cool. And winter is my favorite season for love, you know, it's got that whole vibe of like that cozy aura, just, you know, snuggling whilst it's cold outside, you know, cuddling by a warm fire, or even like walking in the snow. I'm obsessed with snow. I feel like the snow has such a beautiful winter loving theme. Like in my heart, when I think of love and stuff like that, I really always think about winter. Like the best romance animes that I've watched, like they're always winter based and winter is like my favorite season for love, so. I really love that aesthetic coffee shop boutique kind of thing, so you know, it's that typical, you know, simple, kind of like next to each other, like opposite each other at a coffee shop and just drinking your drink. A warm drink around my hands makes me feel so in love and so happy. I know that there are lots of people out there who really love the vibration of just cupping your hands upon a warm drink, you know, especially in winter, you know, it's like really like warm and you're like, oh, I can feel the heat. <laughs> Going out and watching the sunrise slash sunset on the mountains and have a picnic and also have a speaker. And if you're with someone who's into this sort of thing, like just dance your heart out because that's like the most fun thing to do. I feel like when you're dancing, you're actually expressing yourself in a high vibrational level and I really love love that so much. I absolutely love dancing. I love expressing myself because that's what I feel like the point of life is, you know. We are in our bodies to express our personality, our souls, and just the consciousnesses that we are. My perfect time out is to go to like a spiritual festival. Festivals are awesome. My favorite festivals would be Bitterfield and Mind Body Spirit Festival. Those are really awesome. Like they have oracle cards. Like Mind Body Spirit is like stools and stuff and you can buy things there, but it's also that they have fun little different things that you can do like you can do a silent disco and they have so many awesome stuff there I really love it and I really love the whole open-minded spiritual vibration but Butterfield is my favorite I went to the taster session this year and it was so good I absolutely loved it it had such a good aura go to a spa relax you know get a massage get a facial just really detox. I really love like the spiritual kind of spa therapy sort of things because you get some really awesome kind of unique massages and stuff like that. Like they have so many good awesome therapies like Reiki, um, reflexology and stuff like that. Like the spiritual ones are the best. Find the most beautiful waterfall, swim in it and kiss under it. That is so my thing. I so want to do that. I'm in the Lake District right now and that is my plan pretty much. I'm here with my boyfriend soon. I'm sure we'll be doing some of that, but yeah, I have a few upcoming videos which will be super awesome for you guys to see. Snowboard together. I am so going snowboarding. Like, I wanted to go last year, but actually this year. I'll probably go at the end of this year, but snowboarding will be so awesome. Like, honestly, I've done snowboarding about twice and I got pretty good. I could curb. I think it's curb or curb. Um, I forgot what it's called but like you know when you go on your front and you're like going like that because usually when you first learn you have to like lift your feet up like this but then um then you start to learn to go like this and you have to like twist and turn you have to go in like an s shape and snowboarding is so awesome i wish i could do some awesome tricks but i'm not confident enough you know but snowboarding is so much fun, like literally, from when I was skiing as a child, so the comparison of when I was snowboarding when I got older, snowboarding was the most fun. Go to one of those films where you sit in the car and you watch the film on a big screen, and I really love that. I've never done that before, but I thought that it looks so much fun, I super wanted to try that one day. It just looks like so aesthetic. Do not go on a Jack the Ripper tour. Yeah, me and my boyfriend, like we went on a Jack the Ripper tour and then we were like, why are we here? This was so pointless. It was so like, why do we want to go on a date here and why do we want to spend time listening to this? Like, 
That's not the kind of stuff we want to know about, but yeah. Go on a zombie run. Oh my gosh, I have literally seen zombie runs before, like when you get chased by zombies. It's like a real life kind of like you're running from zombies, zombie apocalypse. But they had these obstacles on the one that I saw and it looked so much fun. Like people were chasing you and then you were just like running over these obstacles. Oh my gosh, if I could find that again, that'd be awesome. Well, that's a really good date idea for Halloween. So keep that in mind, guys. That's probably like such an awesome one. That actually sounds like so much fun. Go to an aquarium. I like ice skating and roller skating, but I really do suck at it. Like I have tried to keep on going with it, but I just feel too scared to fall. It's like... Oh my gosh, um, yeah, it is really fun when you can actually do it really well, but at the same time, I just can't, you know. Go to an art gallery and literally, like, I think I did this with Brandon, but we went to an art gallery and I was just, like, being really funny or something. I think, what was I doing? I think I was, like, um, I think I did that. I don't know if I did that with Brandon, actually. I must have done it with my friend or something, but I think I went to an art gallery and I just like started talking really funny about the paintings. I must have done that with Brandon, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, did. Oh yeah, he just said yeah I did. I was doing like, <laughs> I was really So like acting like you're a proper posh person, you're like, oh yes, this is the painting. I really love that exquisite detail. It's so beautiful. And oh my gosh, is that a cat in the painting? I was just being really funny. I was being really loud and funny and just weird. Uh, that's just me though. <laughs> go to a water park. Water parks are super fun. I'm obsessed. You have to go to another country unless you already live in a country which has a water park, but water parks, they're so fun. Go bowling, except I actually got really bored with bowling. Basically, when I used to bowl, I literally, I, I just got so bored of it, and just rolling the ball and getting the pins and stuff like that. I just started to chuck the ball and it, like, I did kind of get in trouble once, but like, I didn't get kicked out. I didn't get kicked out, but like, I just kind of just went like this. With the big bowling ball, I literally just went like this and threw it like a basketball. <laughs> I found it so fun. I just wanted to see where it go because I kind of just gave up so much after like trying to keep getting the pins down. Go to a concert. Those are super enjoyable, especially if it's your favorite band or favorite artist. Like, yes, concerts are the one. It's super enjoyable. Planetarium. Yeah, I did go to this one with my boyfriend actually on Love Story, which is an anime on Cartoon Crazy. I saw them go to a planetarium and it looks so awesome. And that was the one thing they really wanted to do. But the thing is, is when me and Brandon went to the planetarium, like there was no stars. I think that at a planetarium, like a normal planetarium, there should have been that. But basically the one that we went to was more like a museum. And then I was like, oh, I feel kind of like disappointed. Like I wanted to actually see like the whole galaxy up in the sky and stuff. Maybe there is stuff like that, but I don't know. I have to find out about it. Swim with dolphins. Dolphins are the most kindest, most loveliest and cutest creatures so friendly I've swum with dolphins once before arcade it's always fun to like try get some more coins 1p coins out of those machines <laughs> and just play the games arcades are pretty fun they're really fun Netflix and chill except for me I really like Amazon or to be honest mainly anything with anime that is not like horror but more on the side of like love stories and stuff I'm just obsessed with love stories I'm obsessed with like sad love story animes <laughs> fireworks! Fireworks are so beautiful, they're so enjoyable to be able to see the pretty bangs in the skies and they look so gorgeous, like I absolutely love that whole aesthetic love story fireworks thing, you know, that kissing whilst the fireworks are in the background, so beautiful. Go see Aladdin or a theatre play, Aladdin is the best theatre play in London, I highly recommend that. To be able to see a performance like that is literally breathtaking. Play video games. I love video games because you can really involve yourself and experience the game. I absolutely love video games. I really want to play video games again, 
but I do not have enough time to do that right now. But there's so much fun. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video, remember to give me a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And also remember to subscribe for weekly videos every single Thursday because I upload every single week. And click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time I upload a YouTube video. And also I'm going to be selling merch soon, so get on that very, very soon. Just keep your eyes updated. And on that, you know, I'm going to be telling you guys about that and doing a video based on that. So yeah, be excited. It's going to be my Sacred Moon Cat Tribe kind of t-shirt thing. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.